our weakness and our way of living has made Jesus into one thing when he is everything. We talk regularly, and rightly so, but we talk regularly about how Jesus died for our sins, but we don't spend nearly enough time testifying to the fact that he has satisfied our souls. See, the gospel is not just that Jesus paid my debt, it's also that Jesus is enough. The gospel is not merely what he did, it's also who he is. We are the stones that must, pre must preach this message. Jesus is enough. When my heart is broken, Jesus is enough. And when I grieve, Jesus is enough. In my disappointment, he's still enough. In my unemployment, he's enough. In my brokenness, he's enough. In my singleness, in my waiting, he is enough. In every part of my life, whether positive or negative, in my confusion, in my anxiety, in my fear, Jesus is enough. But also, in my plenty, in my prosperity, in my joy, and in my peace, in my provision, and in, in my protection, Jesus is enough. That's the, God, the fullness of the gospel. All we're doing is inviting people into the beginning. We have to lead them through the whole process. Not just where now I'm good for heaven, but now he satisfies my soul. That's what the crowds were shouting as Jesus was riding toward Jerusalem. The king is coming. Even if they didn't know that's what they were, that's what they were shouting. It's the truth that was coming from their mouths by the Spirit of God. The Messiah is here. God 